All right. All right. So welcome to welcome back to the little podcast interview. I'm here with go ahead. Ganesha Hood <laughs> out of San Antonio, Texas, and I attend Texas State. Okay. Um so first question is what is your main motivation to to strive to play basketball at the next level beyond like high school and AAU and all that stuff? Um, honestly, you know, my main motivation was definitely my family. You know, that's where it stemmed from. Um, neither one of my parents have college degrees, you know, only equivalent to high school diplomas. So, you know, my main motivation came from my family. So I'm a first generation. So, you know, to get a degree, um, it's a big accomplishment for me and my family. So that's really main, my main motivation. What's up? All right, so who was there like a specific athlete that you looked up to growing up when you was hooping? Like any specific like NBA, WMA player you looked up to, or is you just just one to hoop? Yeah, uh, man, you know, there's so many great players out there, uh -huh. but um, a few that really influenced me in my game. Um, from San Antonio, like I said, so diehard Spurs fan, so. Um, I came up watching Tim Duncan, you know, it's mm -hmm. my favorite all-time NBA player. Um, I loved Kobe and LeBron, of course, you know, <laughs> even though they're on two different teams, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I really like their game. And then as far as women, Maya Moore, you know, that's my ultimate favorite player. Uh, she got a nice pull-up jumper. She can score at all three le levels, play defense, block shots, and defend. So um, I think those are the main people I – used to influence my game all right so like did you ever try to like well yeah growing up did you ever try to like to model your game up to somebody or are you trying to just be like oh, i'm i'm different i want to make my own type of game i'm trying to yeah be different <laughs> you know um when i first started i mean i was just i started playing really late so i was just having uh -huh. a team and playing but um, my dad, you know, one day he did tell me, he told me Maya Moore, that's who I needed to simulate my game after. And it's crazy because I, I just, you know, came to the conclusion like last year, I remember him telling me that. And I'm like, man, my game literally looks exactly <laughs> like hers now. So it, it's crazy to, to really think that my father told me that years ago and to now see myself, um, like how much I really have simulated my game tours. So I would say Maya Moore definitely is a, a player I definitely model my game after. Oh yeah, for sure. And you, you said uh you started playing basketball late. So like what age or what grade did you start playing basketball? Man, I've been interested in it since I was like two years old. You know, mm -hmm. I had a goal, had a little plastic goal, <laughs> you know. And then I also had a, a goal in the backyard, but I didn't start play, playing competitively until I was about eighth grade, ninth grade, going into high school. The high school I went to, you know, they went to state almost every year, you know, so it was a, a lot of competition and I was just very blessed to get around some great girls who were, who were very skilled and talented as well. So I started playing late, you know, and I also got injured my first couple of year, years too. So. I dealt with some injuries and um, so I really didn't get going and start getting recruited until I was about like 11th, 12th grade. So, yeah. yeah what, like what age did like, you kind of like felt the, like kind of found the love for it or were you like kind of found out all oh, like basketballs for me, I'm gonna keep doing this. And I can probably have a future in this beyond high school college and all that. Right. Man, you know, when I was younger, when I was just a little girl, I just used to watch the WNBA a lot. You know? mm -hmm. I got big dreams, big goals. But then when I found out, you know, you got to go to college first, <laughs> there, I definitely went, um, I was probably about 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. so once I hit middle school and I was finally able to join a team, I think that's when I definitely knew I wanted to play at a higher level than just high school and AAU. Oh, that's what's up. Um... Has like ever since like starting playing, have you ever found any like, have you had any like specific like setbacks or any times where it was like, oh, like I gotta set on a thing for a little bit? Like, has there been like setbacks when you when you were hooping and stuff like that? Yeah, you know, um, my freshman year after my first freshman year of high school, um, I had torn my ACL, and before that, 
before the season actually started, I had a back stress fracture. You know, when I was younger, before I got my body right, I dealt with a lot of injuries. So I definitely had a lot of setbacks. You know, I had times where I wanted to, I was thinking about quitting, like, man, is it for me? You know, I just, I kept questioning it, you know, but I was very grateful to have a support system, like my mom, my dad, my brother and sister, you know, I am the forefront. I'm the oldest of three siblings. So, you know, I really just put on for them and, and they always kept me going. So um, I definitely had setbacks, you know, even, even to this day, I still have setbacks that I'm always trying to constantly climb out of. So definitely always, for sure. So you like you say you you had that little like moments where you said you're gonna quit. What were the like what kept you moving? What kept you pushing? Like what were was it like family or was it like just like oh I I, I can have the future in this? What was your like uh motivation? Definitely starts with my family and but also God, you know, I prayed a lot through those hard times and you know, my father he's a very hardworking man. So he always taught me that, you know, hard times don't last, mm -hmm. you know, life is full of ups and downs. So things are going to constantly keep coming at you. So I just had to, you know, get that mindset and, and just kind of come out of it and keep going. You know, I was, you know, this was my freshman year, you know, mm -hmm. so um, everybody was like, you got plenty of time. You're okay. You know, I just joined a very good AAU program. So, you know, those people, played a very big part on why I kept going, you know, and it got me here to this day. Okay. So, you know, like recently, you know, how COVID-19 kind of went crazy and shut everything down. Like what, what kept, like, I'm, I'm going to kind of keep with the, with the motivation. What kept you moving and motivating during the COVID-19? Cause you know, everything was shut down. And when you went back to school, you can't really go back to see family and friends and all that stuff. You, you was kind of like isolated and all you could do was just basketball, basketball, basketball. So what kept you moving vision straight man honestly you know um during covid couldn't go to none of the gyms couldn't go to even the outside goals you know that that was very hard for me as an athlete especially you know just becoming a sophomore trying to really take my game to the next level and becoming a critical piece for the team now um it, it was definitely hard you know but i was determined to change my body. I lost probably like 20, 25 pounds. Um, my degree is in exercise sports science, so health and fitness management. So what I was learning at the time, the classes, they were able to help me kind of transform my body and help me find other ways of working out rather than just being on the court um, or at, in a physical gym. You know, I had to adapt to ways that were uh, like working out as outside or in my house, a lot of body weight, you know, just not having all that equipment or those tools and resources and just kind of making something with what I had. That was probably my, the main thing that kind of helped me keep going and get through that. Okay. So do you think like your, your major slash passion kind of helped you work out outside of your coaches, your strength coaches and all that? Has that like kind of helped you more than just to follow a specific program? Definitely, you know, um, the classes I took, um, exercise physiology specifically, <laughs> you know, that, that really helped me, you know, take into account those those major muscle groups that needed to be worked on, um, the, the right macronutrients that I needed to help fuel me for the game, you know, so I definitely think my education played a big part into my success today. All right, so yeah, we're moving towards more of the bas basketball side. So were there any specific music, well, pregame music that you had, or did you have any, like, playlists that you made yourself to have before the game? Yeah, you know, I got my own saying every time season comes around, I call it hoodie season. You know, that's uh, what calls me hoodie. So, um, like, you know, Carmelo, he started that, and I just mm -hmm. kind of kept up with it. So every time season comes, you know, I just, I changed my bio, I, I changed my at name, you know, <laughs> at hoodie season. And that just means, you know, I'm focused on, it's grind mode, it's grind time now. So uh, mm -hmm. that's kind of like my little motto every time it's time for a new year. Right, that's what's up. Okay, so what's your what's your type of music? Because like, you know, people have different kind of music. Like I just interviewed one dude earlier, you see, he prefers to listen to like R&B style, like Drake and stuff like that. So what is your type of music that you kind of go to? Um, 
Man, my my go to, I'm definitely a hip hop rap type of girl. I also listen to gospel every now and then. <laughs> Because, you know, God is your rock. You always have you to gotta get that Kurt Franklin, man. Right, right. But I'm definitely hip hop, R&B. I like high vibrational music, but I also like music that, that, that I can relate to, you know. So um, my favorite artist is Nipsey Hussle. Mm -hmm. The most motivating, one of the most influential people to ever walk this world, this earth. So um, I definitely have a lot of Nipsey in my bag i like um little baby you know he's nice i just like people i can relate to it come from similar struggles that i do so um i'll just say like hip-hop rap type of girl okay where like were there ever ever times to where like you want music that will like calm me down like me personally when i when i play football and stuff like that i wanted music to like, kind of relax me a little bit so whatever times when like when it came to like the conference uh the conference play and stuff like that and the conference tournament where there were times you just want to like like calm down a little bit. Right. I mean, like I said, that gospel, you know, <laughs> it always it always just bring you back to center, you know. It, it uh, thing, you know, I'm I'm a God-driven person. So um, mm -hmm. I'm looking for something to calm me down a little more, I definitely turn to the Lord. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So as, as we all know, uh we're sponsored by Adidas. So like what what's your what's your favorite shoes? Like to wear in game, in game. Then I'm gonna get out of out of basketball. What's your favorite shoes to wear in game? Hmm. Last year we had some Donovan Mitchells, and I think mm. those are kind of dope. So I definitely like those right now. Okay, so when it comes to out of basketball, do you stick to Adidas or? Because I've seen I've seen you in the fashion too. So would, would you go? <laughs> you go to the Jordans? You go to the? You yeah. go? Do you just switch yeah. it up? Well, I definitely played in Jordans. Uh, I like Jordans. I like playing in Jordans. They're very comfortable, and I like playing in Kobe's. Mm. Uh, as a result of Kobe's, but you know they, you know they 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 taxed right now. So. Yeah, you can't find them anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you can't find them anywhere, man. The little pair I got. <laughs> <laughs> Not for real. Yeah. Not for real. Um, let's see. Is there any pro basketball players you would love to love to work out with or be trained by? Either or. Either or. And like I said, Maya Moore, I know she don't hoop right now because she turned in some more um, civil and activist role, trying to just help the black community. So um, if I could be trained by her, I definitely would. LeBron James, for sure. <laughs> He's a GOAT. Uh, I think I would definitely like to be trained by him. He's one you can play one through the five, and I like to mm -hmm. consider myself that too. I don't like to box myself in. I'm all about expanding my game in every way possible, and I think he's just great at every level, at every aspect. So um, definitely either one of those two. Okay. So um, this one's kind of make you think, go, go back to your younger self. So are there any words you want to give to your younger self, like any type of motivation or just words like, yeah, keep your head up? yeah um man just keep going you know like life is full of struggles full of setbacks but you know you got to have minor setbacks for major comebacks so mm -hmm. just keep going keep pushing is it's definitely like something i would have told myself back then like it's okay you know hard times don't last for sure that's what's up so as, as you as you finish your time out at, at Texas State, are there any things you, you you'd want to achieve or anything like the Phoenix? Like like I heard you you're rising up in the ranks when it comes to leading point scorer. So would you let like would you want to finish out on top or is there anything else you'd like to achieve? Of course, you know right now going to this my last year at Texas State, um, I'm ranked tip right now in all time leading scorer. So I definitely would like to. <laughs> break that number one mark. Um, I also would like to become player of the year and become a three-time first team awesome Bell Conference player. Um, I broke a record last year getting back to back first. So mm -hmm. definitely trying to, you know, triple that and, um, and, and just win a championship. Of course, that's always the ultimate goal. So I would love to do it with this team um, for my coach and, and all my family, you know, it would just be a, a very amazing blessing to achieve. So um, definitely those four things right now is what's on my mind going into this season. All right, for sure. So this is going to be the last question. It's going to switch up a little bit. 
I actually didn't write this one down. So has there has there been a, a humbling moment for you? Like, have is there a time someone snatched back on you, or has it been like a little moment that kind of like, oh, I gotta humble myself a little bit. Man, I've I've had a couple of those, <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially when I you know when I first got to the school. Um, you know, I had some some setbacks. I won't give all the details, but. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely had some humbling experiences, you know, but those experiences also changed my perspective and outlook on on life itself. And as me as a person, you know, and, and those things, they motivate me to this day. You know, they were mistakes, but I also learned from those mistakes. So that's definitely what I would say. Uh, for sure. I, I, pre- I appreciate you for coming on. Uh, Hood. I appreciate you for real. So, I mean, I wish the best of luck for you. this come from the season. You know, I'm going to be tuned in for sure. I'm be tuned in. So, what's the best of luck for you, man? All right, appreciate you. All right.